Hi, this is Dr. Jergowitz. I'm going to spend a few minutes explaining to you some successful alternative treatments for autoimmune conditions. There are over 160 different autoimmune conditions that we know of, and that's increasing. We spend over $2.7 trillion in healthcare, and we are incredibly sick as a culture. There is a large disconnect between traditional medicine and alternative treatments, as well as between different specialties. Let's take, for example, a few different autoimmune conditions that affect connective tissues, such as Sjogren's, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis. Now, all these patients have an overactive immune system, and the standard of care is to see a rheumatologist where they're prescribed a medication which is going to suppress their immune system, as well as help them from a symptomatic standpoint and disease maintenance. They never look into the underlying cause of why this person is having an autoimmune problem in the first place. The problems with traditional medicine is everything is broken down in different specialties when all these systems are related to one another. The truth is 80% of our immune system is found in our gut. How many patients with autoimmune conditions are having stool testing done, food sensitivity testing, heavy metal testing, and seeing a gastroenterologist? Most patients with autoimmune conditions have something known as leaky gut or intestinal permeability. What happens is when there's inflammation present, the lining of the GI tract can become compromised. Now, this lining is only one cell thick, and on the other side is our bloodstream and our immune system. When this becomes compromised, we get gaps or pores within this lining. Now, different toxic byproducts from the food that we eat can pass through and be absorbed into the bloodstream. This will affect multiple different systems and cause inflammation, food sensitivities, and autoimmune conditions. Patients with autoimmune disorders have a hypersensitive immune response to specific substances or tissues that are normally present within the body. Now, there are many variables that must be investigated that can be the underlying cause of why a person has a specific autoimmune process in the first place. In some patients, it can be a vitamin D polymorphism, gluten sensitivity or gluten intolerance, heavy metal toxicity, insulin or estrogen surges, GI infections, and all these areas have to really be investigated in each individual to prevent future destruction of the autoimmune process. Patients with autoimmune disorders are treated by mainstream doctors with medications for disease maintenance and symptom management. They never investigate the underlying cause of why the person is having the autoimmune response in the first place. Functional medicine approach is going to investigate any toxicities, deficiencies, GI infections, etc. into the underlying cause and prevent future progression of the disease process.